Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Be Unique. Um, today I'm doing a holiday glam and hair on my muse, Cynthia. I really wanted to show on real people with real skin, with real problematic skin and natural hair. So this is voluminous hair with curls and a little bit of extensions to give va va voom. And let's get into this look. So I'm starting off with Podwina Thao's Lavender Moisture Mist and this helps to keep it natural and fresh and it helps to really detangle the hair. I'm also using Shea Souffle to seal in that moisture and to add added in moisture. So those two products gives natural shine and I highly suggest that you try it for your hair, your skin, and your body. So just detangling the hair like normal, using a palm mitchell brush, and I'm just blow drying the hair, giving it volume to prep for the extensions that we're going to put in shortly after. So while the hair is setting, we're moving on with foundation. I'm using all black opal stick foundations. It's medium to full coverage. Um, as you can see, her skin is very uh, has a lot of acne or acne scarring so we are covering up the acne scarring and keeping her skin skin like that is the goal so the orange that you see is a color corrector from LA girls pro conceal all the products would be listed in the description box I wanted to show that you can color correct beforehand, but I preferred not to, only because that I have to go back in and reapply the color corrector to cover up spots that might have been taken away by the foundation, putting it on secondly. So I normally would put the foundation on first and then go back and color correct whatever is a showing so this helps me to not use so much product as you can see here I'm going back to color correct again <laughs> in certain spots that didn't take and going back in with more foundation to cover the corrector so I'm going in with a beauty blender to move around product that was too much in one area and transfer it transfers it over to areas that needs to be covered. So I am contouring and bronzing up the perimeter of her face. How I choose the color, I just don't randomly choose the color. I use the rest of her body to help me um get the tone that I'm looking for for her bronzer and I also do this for the foundation so that's a good tip a good free tip so like normal you want to contour in the hollows of the cheeks and balance it by contouring the nose area and the jawline I, my style of artistry is very natural, so that is what we're going for here. I, you can always go in with a darker shade with the same tone to intensify that particular contour area. So I opt out for a more tapered brush to help me chisel the nose. I'm just blending it out. I am using Iman Luxury Powders. I believe this one is called Light Medium or Light. And I'm also using the Luxury Powder to deepen or just to um, set her contour area. But before I use the powders, I did use Dermablend Original Translucent Powder to set her entire face. Mm -hmm. 
for this skin, you do want to take your time. You want it to be as perfect as you need it to be. And you want it to at least match what she's supposed to look like. So that is what I'm doing here. My favorite, as you can see, is creating beautiful, flawless, skin-like skin on anyone. If you have great skin, if you have problematic skin, that is my signature. So I'm using that contour powder from Iman Luxury Powders, and I'm helping to set and chisel the nose further. I like to go into the brow area because you always want to start and end a contoured nose. Like normal, I am just blending out any harsh lines um, from the contour that we placed down into the foundation. So like any eye area, I like to start to start by contouring the eye shape. This also helps me to place down the colors in the crease that I want correctly instead of playing a guessing game all over the eyelid. I do have them slightly keep their eyes open instead of closing them all the way. This helps to create the shadow that I need and it also helps me to not play a guessing game on where I should place colors and where it should be intensified or not. So for this eye look, I am using warm tones and uh, reds, brick reds, to intensify this smoked out bronzy eye. All eyeshadows I'm using today will is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which I am so in love with. One of my students had purchased it for me as a gift and they're super soft like i was surprised so i'm really loving it so far if you use the jaclyn hill morphe palette let me know your thoughts about that in the in the comment section i would love to chat about that So the key to eyeshadows is to blend, blend, and blend, and blend, and blend away. <laughs> so take your time and get what you're trying to get with this eyeshadow. And just blend. Have fun with it. So I always focus a lot about skin. This year coming up, I do want to, um, of course, still focus on skin and master it and everything. I want to play a little bit more with eyeshadows and colors, so I'm excited to grab some more muses and to get that going. When in doubt, smoke it out. I always say that. So if you're not great with a winged eyeliner or whatever the case may be, smoke out your lash line. It really gives a sultry, sexy look, especially for the holidays. And what better way to intensify it with some lashes? So I felt like the outer corners wasn't as deep as I wanted it to be. So I'm just deeping it up with just like a dark brown color and just really focusing that at the outer V and helps to bring out and intensify her eyes. So like I said, lashes really brings it out. I am dropping her hair and adding extensions and more curl with a wand to help style the hair. I decided not to do blush because obviously she didn't need it for this look. And that is it. I hope you love this look. Bye.